Many people ask me, oh, who is going to win the next election? Who is going to do this? I'm sad because Nigeria is still making the same mistake that we've always made. And that's the mistake of pursuing a false messiah. Yes. And that's what has always brought us into a trap. You see, Peter will be, like I said yesterday, if he cares not taking Nigeria, we kill that man. They will stop him from being a vessel. And he also is making a mistake. He's committing himself to men. Me, I, I will say the word of the Lord. Woe to them that put their trust in men. And woe to you if on the praises of men, on account of the praises of men, you begin to commit yourself to men. We've always had a problem in this country and that problem is running towards false messiahs. When I began to read the Psalms God gave us, I discovered that part of what was captured there was that God is our salvation, not a man. When God was speaking to me about the future of Nigeria, he didn't speak to me about the future of Nigeria as touching a man. He was, he was speaking about his will for Nigeria. See, we don't labor for that one. Okay, if Peter will be wins now, what next? Oh, don't you know, don't you know that princes are the true rulers of territories? Do you think humans are the true rulers? If a nation has not yielded to God, God cannot rule indeed in that territory. So the man will he will win the election, but he will mirror what was already there. You don't understand. The Lord told me, he said next year there's going to be a nine-month contention. And that the next president will truly emerge towards the end of the year. That's when his birthday, be, his, his imagine will be towards the end of the year because of the contention. And Satan will begin to stir that contention from September to December. And we started prophesying about the war to come. People insulted us, sir. You see, one of the troubles and factors militating against true prophetic ministry is that the people despise the prophets sent to them. Because we are not on TV. And, I, you know, I, I didn't do like this. The wisdom of God brings his counsel in lowly places. In low, that's where you hear his counsel. When they were prophesying peace, 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 in 2019, the Lord showed me lockdown and I saw people's house locked. The video is still there and I told them, revival is coming. It's the revival of the indoors. God is going to cause people to be locked in their houses so that they can find God in secret places. They mocked us, but it came to pass. When by the word of the Lord, I said, what has cast is coming? Rivers will be dry. Someone said, someone wrote, the earth is made of 70% of water. This your prophecy is fake. But in this earth, this year, there was drought. And when I saw the war that God showed me, it was terrible. In Nigeria, I told them, I say Satan wants to cause godless men to stir up war. And without missing word, I said the people Satan is going to use, I saw them standing under an umbrella. You see, the things I'm saying are not is prophets can hear sayings in the bedroom of the king. How, what the mystery is, I don't know. How it will start, but we were praying here. Me and this, my men, and the women here, we've been laboring in prayer. And we kept on saying it. And the Lord showed me one time, I saw Abuja taken. I saw Potakot taken. I saw this city taken. And I came out and I warned the people. I said, they're no longer in the bush. They are your neighbors now. They are waiting for instruction. They are the beggars at your gate now. They are waiting for instruction. Until I saw an angel told me, he said, go to the middle belt. Go to Koki. That's where we'll be safe. You don't know why they're, they're taking serious now. USMB. USMB is not the standard. That's the deception of man. USMB. No, it won't happen this month. 
it will happen when people are saying, okay, okay, well, we pray, it doesn't happen. When people are saying, ah, they just panic for nothing. Nothing is going on. In December, when people are trying to relax, then you will now begin to hear drums of war. I told you that I sensed the hand of God tilting towards mercy. He told me. He said, I, someone should receive body for this mic. He said, seven, are we together? He said, write down these seven psalms. Tell your people to read it in this way. Let them pray with it upon their properties, upon their lives, upon their families. He said, they will be exempted from what is to come. But that's not what I'm looking for. I'm not looking for exemption for just myself and my followers. We are looking for mercy for the territory. You know, when these things were shown to me, the Lord said, to avert this thing, call the people to prayer. Are we together? When these things were shown to me, the Lord said, to avert these things, call the people to prayer. Let 200 men march on every city in Nigeria. And he showed me how they will march. He says they march. Let them read the Psalms. He had not given me the Psalms that time. Maybe it wouldn't have been these Psalms. It would have been a different Psalms he would give me. He said, let them read the Psalms and let people pray and just prophesy as they are marching. It's not something led by a person. It's just Christians doing priesthood. People will not know why we were doing that thing if we had done it. They would not have thanked us because it would have been averted. That we would have prevented something great. And he told me that the, the resultant effect of that priesthood would have been the destruction of the people that had ganged up against Nigeria. He told me that their bomb would begin to explode on them and then they, they will turn against themselves. And when I cried, only very few people answered us. We have a telegram group. When I looked at the response, I said, this generation will not learn. Meanwhile, the video traveled. But only very few people. Some people come now. Why didn't you meet Khan? Why didn't you meet Khan? What a foolish question. <laughs> he said, despise not prophesying. Because the church, they are the ones that we despise prophesying. Why? Spirit of denomination. So we cannot do priesthood anymore because of denomination. So we labor. December is going to be strong. But I remember what God said with using per empty. He said Nigeria once known for corruption will be known for righteousness. And indeed Nigeria has been known for righteousness all over the world. Because God is raising pure preachers from here. And guess how Satan stops revival? He raises government against revival. If we don't do priesthood Something where I told you people some weeks ago, I said it on my pages. I said I woke up from a dream where I saw military ruling, and these things God showed me that we come to pass. What will make military take over is when there's unrest because I saw curfew, I saw where there were the military man driving us was telling us that from six they say nobody should move again. He was he was a military man, and I was telling him that okay, is there a hotel here? Let me and my team just rent the hotel and stay here. And it will be a nine months suspension of democracy. There's a vision I had for Nigeria that if I shared, people will take stone and stone me. So I will not share it. But I wrote it down online and then we, we pinned it, we locked it. Let it be as a witness there. If you hear that vision, you will not put your trust in anybody contesting here. So what does the church do? The church needs to legislate. When this video goes out now, our team posts it. People will still insult us. If you want to see how a generation treat their God, look at how they treat their prophets. Uh, triple electricity one, he will not talk now because he doesn't have any priesthood to show. But he knows how to call your account number. <laughs> and the Lord gave me seven sounds. Tomorrow is going to be a prophetic day, 1 p.m., and you are going to gather here and see tomorrow normally on Mondays what we do is that we prophesy to people and minister to them as God helps us but in Nigeria I believe God 
that new prophecies are going to come out for Nigeria that will tilt the hand of God towards mercy. And this wickedness that's about to come because at the end of the day, why we prophesy so that the church will not be vexed by this wickedness. And so he told me, he said, this shall be Psalms of protection. And you must read it in the sequence that is being said to you now. You must tell it to your families to read it upon their property. So that just in case the pestilence finally comes, your household and your properties will be exempted. Blessed are your ears for the hear.